welcome to my channel. If today is your first time of watching me, then you are very welcome. The name is Susan Tilly. And um, in today's video, I'm going to show you um, how to write a very good personal statement. If you remember my video I did on how to apply for a school in the United Kingdom, I told you that personal statement is one of the key documents that you will need when applying. And so I also promised that I was going to come back to come and show you how to write a very good personal statement. And so in this video, I'm going to show you four key things, okay? First of all, I'm going to show you what personal statement is all about. Secondly, I'm going to show you what admissions tutors look out for when um, um, admitting women. And also, I'm going to show you how you can structure your personal statement, all right? And then lastly, I'm going to talk to you about what to avoid when writing a personal statement. So if this sounds like something that you will be interested in, maybe you have plans of schooling abroad, or you know somebody who has plans of schooling abroad, then this video is definitely for you. Do me a favor by sharing it um, with that friend of yours, uh, that you think may benefit, share it with that daughter of yours, that son of yours, or uh, that special person that you think this video will benefit and let it be a blessing to you. So let's get started. First of all, what is personal statement? Before I start, please make sure you get a pen and a paper because I am going to guide you through the process and you will need to jot down few points that will help you and that will make it easy for you when you start writing your personal statement. Again, it is very important that when you are writing your personal statement, you have a very positive attitude, you have a very enthusiastic attitude, and you have a very convincing attitude, okay? So what is personal statement? As the name suggests, personal statement. It means that it is something that is supposed to be personal, you are the one going to write about it. When I say personal, it doesn't mean you are going to write about myself, my name is, I come from this, I went to school. No, 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 I'm not talking about that plus one um, type of essay where you write talking about yourself. But it being personal means that you have to write it, okay? So you are not going to let somebody write it for you because you are matured. And so this is where you demonstrate why you are the right candidate, okay? Personal statement is about you writing to the school to demonstrate why you are the right candidate to be admitted into that school or to be to be offered that particular course and not any other person. Remember, there are thousands of people who will also be applying just like you. So your personal statement is the opportunity for you to convince that tutor that you are the right candidate for the course. The second thing that I want us to talk about is what admissions tutors look out for in your personal statement. And in this one, I'm going to talk about three key things, okay? So admissions tutors will be looking out for one, motivation. What is it that is motivating you to apply for the course? What is it that is pushing you to apply for the course? Motivation. Secondly, they'll also be looking out for evidence. If you say you were motivated by whatever, which I'll come back to it when I am talking about how to structure your point, I'll give you practical examples of what to put in that, um, that session. Okay. So aside motivation, what evidence do you have to prove or to back your motivation? Evidence, you have to be able to prove that you have something in connection with the course that you are um, um, applying for okay and this is where you highlight your skills and this is where you highlight your academic research and this is where you highlight your experiences so evidence of your motivation and then lastly they also want to know so what's next so what is next after the course how will that benefit you? Is it going to be impactful on your life? Or how is it going to be impactful to the world? So make sure that as you start writing your personal statement, you capture all these aspects in your statement. You want to be able to demonstrate your motivation. You want to be able to demonstrate evidence. 
And also you want to be able to talk about how it's going to benefit you. Now, let's talk about the most important part of this video. And I'm going to give you two minutes to take a pen and a paper. Okay. I think two minutes is even long. I'm going to give you one minute. Please get a pen and a paper if you didn't get it at the start of the video, because this point is very, very essential. Okay. How do you structure your personal statement? If you are going to write a statement, it is you are supposed to make sure that you write an essay. Okay. And you don't put all together. You are supposed to break it down into paragraphs. So I am going to show you what to put in each paragraph. Okay, what to put in each paragraph. And I'm going to break this session into four main points. Um, in your first paragraph, this is where you can demonstrate where the interest began. This is where you can demonstrate the motivation. Is it about, um, like I said, is it that you went to read a book um, that motivated you? Is it that you traveled and you saw something that motivated you? Is it is it is it that uh you have a keen interest while growing up? What is it that is actually pushing you? So for instance, if you want to be a doctor or if you are applying for um medicine, you can say that like you have eyes and you like to do medicine. This is the point that you can demonstrate by telling them that for instance, you have always loved science and you have always liked the human body and you want to help improve health, human health, or you are interested in global health. And so you want to help to improve the global well-being, okay? And I'm going to show you a particular example of what you could actually put in this session, okay? So for instance, if it is medicine you are applying for, you could say that my excitement for medicine was sparked when I understood how it empowers doctors to positively impact people during their time of need. Okay, so as you can see in this, it's capturing where the excitement began. He said the excitement was packed when he understood how, okay, it empowers doctors to positively impact people during their time of need. So you could also talk about how your interest was packed when uh, maybe you had a friend that uh, and, and, and was ill and you wished that you could do something to help and you, you could practically do nothing about it because you didn't have the, 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 the know-how to do it. So probably that's where your interest was packed, okay? When you wish that you could help someone who was suffering to, to, to come out of her pains or to come out of whatever situation it was and you could, you were powerless. So show enthusiasm, show excitement, and show passion when you are um, writing your personal statement, especially at the introduction part, okay? And in your second paragraph, this is where you want to give evidence. And when I say this is where you want to give evidence, this is where you want to demonstrate what you have done in relation or what you have in common with the course that you are applying for. Is it a work experience? Is it that you did some volunteering work? Is it that you took a course? So for instance, if you're applying to do business, is it that you have done something related to business management? Did you do it at your um, secondary school level? Or did you do it at your um, first degree level? Have you Do you have anything in common with what you are applying for? If it is low, what, what experience do you have, okay? What experience do you have in that field that is motivating you to take it a step higher? And the, 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 in your third paragraph, you could also talk about um, your suitability. So this is where you actually prove that you are the right candidate. This is where you actually sell yourself. This is where you actually tell them what you have to bring on board okay 
it, it's not it's not that you're going to brag, but this is where you are going to talk about your unique skills, your unique characteristics that you have. Okay, so for instance, you could talk about the fact that you are a team player, or you have a, a very good communication skills, or you have um a, a, a good leadership skills. And when I say these things, I don't mean just go take a pen and paper and say that I'm a good communicator. I'm a good. Um, I have good leadership skills. No, no, no. Like I said, it's an essay, so you are going to say it, but not just say it. You are also going to prove it. So this is where you give with evidence. So let me give you an example, particular example. Let me show you this. A particular example of um, you showing your unique characteristics. Okay, for instance, you could say if it is um. Uh, yeah, you, you could say that during my participation in the youth enterprise program, I was able to hone my leadership and team working skills. As a specific example, there was disagreement among the team about product selection, and I was able to discuss calmly with each member and suggest a voting system to decide on the final product. This helped me develop skills such as empathy and conflict resolution by engaging with other team members to understand their point of view, all right? So if you look at this example very well, you can say that he didn't just end it by saying that I am a good team player or I am a good um, leader. He demonstrated uh, um, where he actually put that skill into place, that when he had the chance to participate in a team where and there was a challenge he was able to bring to bed he was able to make some suggestions that when they put it into practice it helped to resolve the situation and so in this paragraph as you are talking about your unique characteristics you want to make sure that you back it with practical examples you want to make sure that you back it with where you actually demonstrated those skills Team, team player, where did you demonstrate it? Um, 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 compassion. If you say you are compassionate, that is why, let's say you want to do um, a, 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 a medicine. Where did you demonstrate it? If you say you are um, a good leader, you have a good communication skills, where did you demonstrate it? So back it up with examples and write it as an, as an essay and not just um, bullet point, okay? And lastly, you will want to conclude by talking about um, in your last part, for instance, how you think the cause is going to benefit you. OK, so this is where you convince them that they should give you um, the opportunity to do this course, because by the end of the course, you want to do this. So you could talk about your future dreams, talk about your aspiration, what you hope to achieve and how you think that this course is going to help you push you to that destination where you want to get to, okay? So I hope these few tips uh, will be able to help you uh, structure your personal statement. But before we leave, let's talk about things to avoid. Now you know what to include in your personal statement. Let's talk about what to avoid. In writing your personal statement, firstly, you want to make sure that you avoid certain mistakes at all costs. So please pay attention to what I'm going to say. If you make any mistake at all, make sure that you do not joke with these things that I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you because when you do that, it's going to jeopardize every effort that you have put in your application process. Okay. So firstly, you want to make sure that you do not lie. Yes please make sure that you do not lie. In as much as you are selling yourself, you want to make sure that it's a true representation of who you are. So make sure that your personal statement is a true reflection of yourself and not any lie just because you want to show off or just because you want to show that you are so perfect. You are not perfect. Just say who you are and that is it. That should be able to um, convince them. Do not lie because when you lie, definitely they will find out. And personally, I, I don't like lying because I've always thought that, you know, <laughs> I've always thought that when I lie, I'm going to be caught some way, somehow. So um, 
I personally don't like lying. So in as much as it's not going to help in your application process, it's also not a good thing. It's not a good virtue to be a liar. And even the Bible says that the father of all lies is a devil. And I don't think you want to be known as a child of the devil. Okay. And aside that, you being a child of the devil means that you're going to go to hell. Yeah, you're going to go to hell. So repent now. Repent. <laughs> Yeah, I used to be a parista, so don't be surprised if I put few, you know, yeah. So please make sure that you do not lie. And then also, um, you want to make sure that you avoid plagiarism. Plagiarism, is that the right word? Okay, yeah. So that simply means that you want to avoid copying. Please do not go and copy somebody's work and represent it as your own, okay? Because if you do that and you are caught, you are going to be hot. You're going to jeopardize all that you have put in place you're gonna i mean it's just gonna be a waste of time because just because you went to copy all the process that you went through i mean it's going to be a waste of time so please do not copy somebody's work because they would definitely find out they have a way of detecting all those things if it's a copied work and you are caught you will not be given the admissions okay and lastly you want to make sure that you do not list things Personal statement is supposed to be an essay. So please avoid listing. Okay. You are not going to write, I am a team player. I am a good communicator. No, no, no. You are writing an essay. So make sure that you do not just write bullet points and send it as your personal statement. Avoid listing. Make sure you write a full essay. Avoid copying or plagiarism and also avoid lies. And if you do this, I believe that no admissions tutor is going to say no to you. So I do hope that this video was beneficial to you. If nothing at all, you might have picked one or two things from it. And please, if you didn't um, benefit from it, or if you think that you don't even have any plans of schooling abroad, um, you may know somebody who may be interested. So please click on the share button and let it bless somebody. And also, if you missed my video on how to apply, where I showed you practical steps on my screen, how you can actually apply for a university in the United Kingdom, I'm going to drop the link below and please do click on it and watch that one. And I believe it's going to be a blessing to you. Don't forget to share. I hope to come up with another video that would be educative to you and that will help in your journey to becoming an international student. Do take care of yourself and stay blessed. Bye -bye.